Hello, I'm Lori Buchanan. I work at the West Virginia Department of Education in the Office of Professional Preparation. Today, I'm going to help you fill out your Form 4 for conversion from a three-year certificate to a five-year certificate for a professional teaching certificate or professional student support certificate. So we're going to start out at our West Virginia Department of Ed website. At the end of that address, you're going to type in certification backslash forms. And that's going to take you to our listing of all of the certifications that are available in our office. You want to scroll down until you see Form 4. And you'll notice we have a Form 4 for the form itself and instructions if you want written instructions. So if you do, you're going to click on Instructions and there's your page. We're going to hit the Back button and go back to Form 4. And here you're going to find an Applicant Information page. Please fill out every section of this page. I want you to focus on a couple of areas. Here is where you're going to answer if you are a current employee of the West Virginia school system. If you answer yes, write down your county and have your superintendent complete Part 5 by signing it and providing the date and the county. If you are not employed in a West Virginia school system, circle no and be sure to include a Form 4B. It's a character reference page. Also down in Part 4, check if you've had your fingerprints completed. In Part 2, be very open and honest with the disclosure of your background information. If you've answered yes to any of these questions, make sure that you also provide the documentation. So now we're ready to go to the Form 4. You're going to scroll down and you're going to see the conversion section. In order to be eligible for conversion, you must have been issued a three-year certificate. And now you're wanting to convert it to a five-year certificate. In order to be eligible for that, you must have successfully completed your beginning educator internship. And this is for professional teachers only. You need to put the date that you completed it in Part 4. If you have taught out of state for five years, you can indicate that also in Part 4 and not have to have the beginning educator internship. You also must have at least two years or more of experience one must be in West Virginia in, the, in a combination of your endorsement areas on your initial teaching certificate. The verification of this has to be in Part 5, completed by the superintendent, your years of experience. Once you've done that and you've determined you can convert to a five-year certificate, you go to Part 2 and decide which option you want to choose. Options 1 and 3 requires six hours of college work and a college recommendation. Your recommendation needs to be completed by a designated official in Part 3 and half the date. If you choose Option 2, you must have three of the six hours as a technology requirement, which is found in Policy 5202. If you want to look at the policy, you can go back to the state site and after U.S. type Policies and it will take you to a listing of all of the West Virginia Department of Education policies. You'll want to look at Policy 5202. Now, if you want to choose 5, 6, 7, or 8, that would be fine as well. All of these have to be reflected on your credentials. Number 8 is the National Board for Professional Teaching Standards Certification. Number 6 is uh, if you're 60 or older, you must provide a birth certificate. Once you've checked one of those, you've gotten Part 3 filled out if you choose one or three, Part 4 and Part 5 completed. You must also submit your official seal-bearing seal transcripts if you have any coursework, your applicant page, your Form 4B if you are not employed in the state of West Virginia, and a $25 non-refundable fee that is made to West Virginia Department of Education, or WVDE, in check or money order. 